Hello, Gemini viewers. I want to take a look and see what's going on with your situation. I know last time we checked in, um, I keep, I for this group that I channel, the Geminis, I, I get this strong energy that you have at least a couple secret admirers. You guys are really, even if things might be a bit chaotic, you really are coming into your power more and more every time I, I tune into you guys. And you, you definitely have people around you that are noticing that. I know you have at least one or two secret admirers that really um, have been trying to work up the courage to confess their feelings, but they might just think they're not your type. Or, you know, we also saw, I think that, I think that was the last reading or maybe the, the second one before that, that you had um, an ex that, that, you know, the energy was right for an ex to come back around. And I think the secret admirer was aware of this, or they might get jealous, or they might just be feeling that energy, like they know that you could have anyone you want. So you're in this very beautiful empress um, type energy where you're just manifesting. I mean, I think you've been working on manifesting love, and now it's just it's really happening for you. It's like your energy is just magnetic. You're just, you're drawing love to you pretty easily. And again, don't get caught up on gender because, you know, this could be, you could be a male that's, um, you know, drawing in another man or drawing in a female or a female drawing in another female or a female drawing in another male. It's whatever however it resonates. So don't get too caught up on gender. But anyway, let's take a look into what's going on in your situation. I'm sorry, this reading might not be quite as in depth as my as most of mine are. Um, because I'm healing from food poisoning right now, but I'm going to I'm going to definitely look in and see what's going on. Um, and give you guys some updates. But it might not be like the usual 25 30 minute reading, which might be a good thing. You know, maybe you guys want fast readings too, maybe just 10 15 minutes while you're on your lunch break or whatever. Okay. But the ones that I do on uh, my beginning of the month reading for for this next month will definitely be more in depth. And I'm who knows, maybe I'll end up going longer than I plan on with this one. <laughs> it tends to happen that way. <laughs> All right, so I'm asking the cards to show us what's going on with Gemini's right now and what's going on with your love situation. What do we need to know about that? Okay, that looks about right. It looks pretty good. Okay. The star reversed. I actually don't see this as a bad thing, though. I think that you are in a period where you were trying to manifest love and you got kind of frustrated because you didn't know where it was or you might have been focusing on an ex or a specific person and you planted these. I think that's why it's upside down. It's like you planted these seeds and you kept trying to manifest love, but it's like you were going around like in circles on this merry-go-round and you're like, where's my true love? Where's my person? Or where's this ex I've been trying to manifest back? And I think you kind of started feeling alone and hopeless, but then everything, just all, all those seeds you planted, it's like maybe something it cleared out of the way. Maybe it's like you were planting these seeds and you had like chakra blocks or you had like just some kind of fear or anxiety or something that was blocking you. And it's just like all at once, like the universe or there was divine intervention or something just could have been witchcraft, could have been something spiritual. It's, it feels spiritual in nature. Something came in and just, just tore those blocks away. So all the seeds you've been manifesting over the last probably years or months at least are just all coming in at once. So that's why you're like, you're just a magnet for love right now. Got the ace and 10 of pentacles, six of pentacles reversed, death reversed, nine of swords, three of cups. See, I think this is, this is good. It doesn't look, I mean, I, from the energy I'm getting, I do get a good energy from this. I'll explain the cards. Hold on. Trying to see what I can make of the Nine of Swords there. Because it does feel like you have a happy, like this ends up, even if it might have been chaotic, it still ends up good. 
Yeah, see, look how quickly, that's kind of like what I was saying with the star reverse. Look how quickly it just flips. Like, Ace of Pentacles, that's like the beginning. That's like you planting the seeds. And then there's like, there's nothing in between. You just jump straight from that to the Ten of Pentacles. So it's like your energy just manifests things for you so quickly. It's like it just all love, abundance, finances, it all just comes pouring in at once. And I think with the Six of Pentacles reversed, you're being a little bit more careful with your energy. You're not quite as sharing and giving as you used to be, but it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's like you're just, you're protecting yourself more, especially if you do have the X coming back around. It's like you don't want to just jump into anything. You want to really protect your energy and this abundance that you've manifested. With the death reversed, I think that's something that you thought was previously dead and over comes back around. Like this could be an X where you kind of just felt like, I feel like it's toxic though because I keep getting this energy of an ex but it's like it's toxic and you're in this energy where you can have anybody you want. So I kind of feel like for some of you this person might have just come back around or they're about to come back around. I mean everyone's everyone's on a different um, stage of this journey that you know with this group I channel everyone's like going to be it's everyone's going to be at a different stage. So some of you they've already come back around. Some of you they're they're just thinking about you and they're thinking about reaching out. But I almost feel like it's toxic. It's like with the 9 of swords here it's like fears and negative beliefs and things from the past coming up when this person comes back around like arguments again or it's like kind of get this energy it's like the honeymoon phase for a short period of time and then it's like you kind of, you it, like all that, that negativity and that fear comes back around. And then you try to get out of it, though, and you try to just focus on like friendships and just all of the, the abundance and the love that's around you. Maybe focusing if you have cats on your animals, um, just focusing on this general abundance. But let's see what's going on. I do still get that energy, though. I don't know because um, I, I keep getting that energy with the ex that the ex is it's going to come back around for some of you it's just for closure they might just be coming back around I mean it might be like planned by the universe where it's like you kind of need to have them come back around and you need to see that it's going to be the same shit as it's always been in order for you to really fully let go of them you know what I mean because I think that in your head with this ex I think you always thought like well what if I did this differently or what if I said this differently would we have communicated better or what if I didn't cheat or they didn't cheat would things have been different? You know, like all these what ifs, I think, went through your head with the ex. So, I mean, for some of you, maybe you can work it out. Not not for all of you, but I think for a lot of you, though, I think the ex is just coming back around. So you kind of get that, like, they didn't change as much as you hoped they would or th think that they would. But again, it's not anything to worry about because, like I said, you are... You're in this energy where if you still want them, you're probably not even going to want them soon. Like, you're probably getting to this point where you're just going to be like, bye, Felicia, I don't care anymore. <laughs> I feel a lot of frustration and pain from the secret admirers, actually. So I don't know if some of you just got back with the ex or some of you are entertaining other people. There's some kind of jealousy there, though, I feel. There's something. And this could be energetic. It might not necessarily be that they actually physically see you. I mean, they could. They could physically, like, see posts and stuff of you with somebody else or going on dates or trying to make somebody else jealous. And instead, you're just making the secret admirer jealous and not actually making the person you want to make jealous jealous. Um, there's that kind of energy where it's just, like, there's somebody who's, I feel pain. I feel pain over you. I don't know if you're aware of it, though. It could just be somebody that, like, could be somebody that, like, you, I don't know if you see them as a friend. You know, I, think, I feel like there would be, because this is, like, a soulmate or twin flame that I keep channeling, so I feel like you probably wouldn't, I don't think you would just see them as, like, a friend. I think maybe you just haven't considered it. Like, you haven't stopped and thought, like, oh, hey, this person is, like, hear from me a lot this person is really attentive or this person is like I don't know this person is like shy and scared but I do sense pain from them so let's see what's going on okay so for the, the secret of Mara can you tell me what is what's the energy with this this person because I know before we we're getting like they were coming in to confess their feelings like did they confess their feelings like if not what's stopping them like what is the story with the secret admirer here. I want to know what's going on with that. What is going on with that? Deceit, fragments. I don't think that they deceived you. I don't think that's what it's saying. 
High Priestess of Fire, Beauty, Loyalty, High Priestess of Earth, the Fledgling. I sense pain. Like, that's what I'm channeling is pain from them. So I don't know what just happened. I don't know if maybe you guys, like, again, maybe posted something or maybe... You know, with Mercury just in retrograde, and we're still in the shadow phase of it, there could have been some miscommunication. So maybe they tried to flirt with you, and you didn't realize they were flirting, and you kind of like said something that made them feel like you were shutting them down. And maybe they, maybe you weren't intentionally shutting them down, but they felt like it. Or maybe you posted something like, why can't I find the right girl or the right guy? Why can't I find the right person? And they're like, oh my god, I'm right here. Like, what's wrong? Like, why are you not noticing me you know it's that kind of like I, I sense like a pain and frustration from this secret admirer or this could also be somebody that you're venting to about your ex or about something else about or about how maybe maybe you even tried to flirt it could even be a situation where you try to flirt with them like where you are trying to say like oh why can't I find the right person and you were kind of hoping that they would say something and they like misunderstood you so it's almost like this this energy of like miscommunication where it's like you rejected them or they rejected you, but you guys didn't mean to reject each other. You just weren't understanding each other, if that makes sense. And this could be also, I mean, this could also just be things that you're posting or things that you're saying that you probably didn't give any thought to. Like, like again, could be like a post where you're like, oh, I wish I could find somebody. And they're like, what, what the hell? I'm right here. Why, why are you looking for somebody else? Why don't you like give this connection a chance? Um... And again, this could be somebody that you haven't really considered a whole lot. So that could be part of it. But I guess it's also possible that this person could feel deceived or betrayed by you. They might feel like, I don't know why they would. I mean, you would know if this is your story and then that is the case. I'm just trying to interpret the deceit card here because I feel like this one's kind of, usually I channel the cards, but sometimes for some reason this deceit energy is kind of, complicated it just has a complicated energy to it um it could be that they've been deceived and hurt a lot and so they kind of feel like they're fragmented like they're not whole they need to do soul retrieval they've been hurt too much and so they're kind of scared of getting hurt and they're if you guys are miscommunicating or you're venting to them or whatever about their about the eggs or whatever it might be or they're just energetically feeling this energy like feeling they, like they feel discouraged like oh this person could have anyone they want why would they want me um and it's it sucks because I keep channeling it goes kind of back and forth I mean I sense that this person really loves you because they do their feelings are always very clear in every reading I do but it's almost like like the last reading I did for you guys like I really felt like they were making this bold courageous move and they were going to tell you how they felt that's the energy that was coming through and this energy is more like pain and fear so that's why I'm wondering if like maybe they did come forward and start flirting more and you didn't realize they were flirting and you shut it down or there was some kind of energy where there was miscommunication. So it might not even mean that you, you might not have even intentionally hurt them. There might have just been that miscommunication and they're like, oh, wait, okay, I better... I better be more careful. I better read this person before I try to flirt again. I better make sure that I don't ruin a friendship I better make sure that I don't make them uncomfortable or like if it's a co-worker too that would make sense because it's like they don't want to you might be in a, a situation with this person where if they flirt and come on too strong and make you uncomfortable it could like ruin your friendship or ruin like make things awkward at work or at school or wherever you guys might be so there could be that energy too so they're they're kind of like they're scared and hurt right now and they're trying to be more careful so I do feel like they did come forward I don't, but again, I don't know if you actually realize that they were trying to come forward. I feel like this person is shy and awkward sometimes. So it might have, they might have a weird way of flirting too. They might joke around when they flirt. Um, or like, I don't know, there might just be some, there's just some kind of weird miscommuni miscommunication type energy here. So they pull back a little bit, but they still love you. They still know that they want you. They're still watching you. They're still observing. They're just frustrated and confused and not sure what their next move is. Um, so if I were you, I would just try to give this person more of an opening if you know who this is and you are interested. I would give them more of an opening. You don't have to say anything too forward. But you can just, you can make up, just compliment them. Just say, oh, that shirt looks good on you today. Or, oh, did you cut your hair? That looks good. Or it's just, 
something more flirty and more open or um, maybe even ask them out for some of you, but kind of keep it light, you know? But just be, be careful how you communicate with this person. I feel like their, their communication skills aren't the best. I don't know if that's how they or normally are or if maybe they just had a lot on their plate and with Mercury retrograde going on, that, that would explain it. But they see you in this fire energy. They see you as this fiery, passionate um, like, like they see you as like stubborn and opinionated, but they love it. Like they're turned on by it. They, they set you apart. They see you as very unique and beautiful. Um, and I feel like they're pretty loyal to you. I think that, I think they are getting frustrated so that maybe some of them are kind of considering other options, but for the most part, I do feel like they're loyal to you. Like they know that they're not going to find you, um, in anybody else. They know that they, they can't have that same, like your beauty, your, your charm, your, your fiery, passionate energy, your compassion, your heart, you know, you, you're the best of both worlds in their eyes. And so they have loyalty to that. Like they don't want to, they know that they're not going to find you in somebody else. And so that's a lot of their frustration and pain because they're like, does this person want me? Does this person want their ex? How do they feel? What do they want? I don't get them. Um, it's that kind of energy where they're kind of going in their head in circles right now a little bit. Um, but they're trying to focus on grounding. They're trying to just get out of this pain and out of this confusion and try to focus on grounding and trying to, again, though, they're going to be more cautious because they want to know how you feel before they come in. So they're, they're in this high priestess of earth energy where they're, they're trying to ground and just figure out what you feel before they make any harsh, you know, quick decisions or say too much, you know, they might feel like they already said too much or they might be worried that they're about to say too much. So they're trying to pull back a little bit, but not like leaving you or anything, just pulling back in the sense that they're just kind of um, observing you more and, and trying to figure out what you're about and trying to figure out where, where you're at. And if you actually have feelings for them before they come forward and have this and try to have this new start with you. So again, if you know who this person is and you do have feelings, I would give them an opening because they are feeling hurt and confused right now. So thank you guys for watching. Um, if this resonates, please go ahead and subscribe below. I also do uh, private readings. Just um, email me. My email is below and I, I can do pr uh, paid private readings for you guys too. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.